Hi guys, welcome back to the Native Family. Today it is time for another Dollar Tree haul. I spent around $100, give or take a couple of dollars. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I went into like three or four Dollar Trees in one day looking for the golden unicorn of the Crafter Square items that work in the Cricut. I was looking for all of the tools, the transferred paper, you know, the permanent vinyl, the glitter vinyl, all those wonderful things I keep seeing everybody show in their videos and not one item was found but i did find a lot of other things i had a bunch of wish list items as well i'm looking for all the bumblebee things that they have out growing up bumblebees were one of the little knickknack things that i grew up collecting i absolutely love bumblebees regardless of being deathly allergic to them like EpiPen allergic to them i absolutely adore bumblebees and i'm slowly trying to transfer my kitchen into complete bumblebee year round except for christmas so I found a couple things. The first thing I found with the bumblebees was this really cute tote bag. I already have it open because the um, young girl put all my goodies in it at the store for me. And it says, save the bees, protect the hive. And I absolutely think this is adorable. I love the play with colors. And I know there's another one like roaming around that doesn't have any saying or a hive on it. It just has all of these cute little bees. And I love the sides of it. Now, I'm not going to lie. This was the only one. But if they had more, I want 10 of each because I am sprucing up my shopping bags. Because where we live, they still charge for bags. And I just like using my own bags over, you know, the store bags. So I will eventually, hopefully, find some more of those. Sticking with the Bumblebee theme, I know that the Juncture brand is pretty much Greenbrier brand. These are their flip-flops. They come out with cute ones every year. Guys, you can't, if you're going to go out the whole day and like do a touristy thing and walk around, do not get these shoes for that because that's not what they're for. These are ideal for like if you're camping and they have the little showers, you know, for shower shoes. I mainly got them to keep them in our beach bag because I do live five minutes away from the water. I keep a beach bag in our car at all times during the summer because everybody always forgets sunscreen, you know, shoes and things like that. Oh, I got the hiccups. Sorry. And so I just picked these up and they say believe in yourself. So that will go in our permanent beach bag in the car. Along with those, I did pick up the slides. Now they have them backwards the way they're hooked up. Um, I did get them in the 910. I think these will fit my son. So like I said, these are perfect, just little sand shoes to get you from the car to the sand and put them in your little chair because we have little chair backpacks. And I did pick them up in pink so the girls will have a pair too. But those are the only ones at the stores that I had frequented looking for all the Cricut items to go in the beach bag as well. I always pick up the aloe vera gel by Max Block. This stuff is a lifesaver if your kids get any kind of sunburn. I like to put it on them even after we get done with the beach just to cool their skin down. It's always nice to have. And this one is a pretty good size. It's a 9.7 fluid ounce. I need three more of these because the girls do go to the beach on their own with friends and I would like for them to carry some of this in their own bag. Some more beauty items. My stores never have a ton of the makeup that you guys are finding. I find odds and ends and it's always in a place that where it doesn't belong. Like it'll be in the cracker section or something. So I did come across the LA Colors Lip Oil. I love lip oils. And this one is in watermelon. So I'm excited to try that. If you guys have tried that, let me know. Like I said, my store is always late on getting newer things in. And then I did find a Milani concealer. I'm not going to be using this for a concealer. This is in bronze. I'm going to be using this as a um, contour. So I thought that would be really nice to use. And it is, let me see, concealer. It says it'll hide dark circles and stuff like that. I know there's other shades floating around, but this is the only shade that I found. Maybe you guys, there you go. It's really a nice product. I love Milani products. And then I did pick up a couple more LA Color um, lip items. This is the LA Colors Plump Gloss in Shocker. I don't know. I just thought that was a really pretty summer color. And then I picked up the LA Nude Glam because I wear a lot of nudes too. I do like my dark brown lipsticks, but a good nude for everyday use is nice to have in your bag. And it says it's high impact, one swipe payoff. And that one is in O Teddy. And they had a bunch of other ones, but I only wanted to try one because I always buy all of the colors and then end up not liking it. And I don't want to waste my dollar. I want to save my dollar. So I got one to try to see if I like the formula. And then we picked up this really cute nail polish. Hopefully my camera picks it up. But it has little hearts in it. And I just thought that would be fun to do a pedicure for the summer with. And it's the LA color. I don't think this ever comes with a color. Oh, it's called Petals. Oh, I'm sorry about the glaze guy or the glare. There you go. 
but it's really cute. And then in the same section, they have this beautiful nude color. Ooh, let's see, what is the color on this one? World Traveler. And I just thought that was really pretty. I'm going to be putting a new set on here pretty soon. And I want to do a multicolor set. And I'm going to do different shades of this nude brown. And this is one of the darker colors that I'll be using. So that one was really, really pretty. Then they had some Wet n Wild products. I always like coming across the Wet n Wild products. I have teenage daughters. And it's nice to not have to spend a ton of money. But this is the Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Mega Glow. And this is in, let me see, I got a glare. It's the Mega Glow Face Mist. I'm not exactly sure what all these products do, but it's, it's I don't know, it's interesting for us to use, definitely. And then they had this Mega Last Iridescent Lip Color. And I think I bought it just because the name of the color. The name of the color is, let me see if I can get it to focus, Immortal Tears. Now I did pop it open because I thought it was going to be black but it's not it's very iridescent when you put it on and so i thought that would be fun to start collecting different colors for halloween for those of you that don't know i love doing halloween makeup like movie horror makeup i've worked with you know liquid latex doing all the different um false pieces on your face i love doing halloween makeup i did rhiannon as edward scissorhand one year and she absolutely looked like she belonged on the set of universal studios so i do like collecting colors like this to have in my halloween arsenal of makeup um more beauty stuff these were really pretty my kids are making their own jewelry now oh update for those of you that have asked about rhiannon's jewelry she did have to take a break on making jewelry for her little um company that she is building um, for those of you that know, don't know, she is a senior and she is working on graduating and working full time. So she did step back from doing her jewelry making right now until the summer. And as soon as summer hits, we are going to go ahead and launch her line. So if you guys are interested in that, I will keep you posted in videos coming up shortly. But these were just pretty for the beads. I don't know if they'll wear them as a bracelet per se, but I thought she could do something jewelry wise with them because they are strung on elastics. And it's just really pretty. They almost look like a galaxy style print. So I picked up two of those. Maybe they'll wear them as bracelets or maybe they'll break them apart and use them for other jewelry. I don't know. I have been loving my foot bath lately. And I thought this would be nice to do a foot soak with it. It's the Spa Natural Sulfates Free Chamomile Bath Salt. And it just sounded refreshing. You know, self-care and self-love is so important these days. And I know we as moms are not even moms, just we as adults, period, have been struck with so many things that we're not used to doing that we're forgetting to take care of ourselves. So this is going to go in my foot soak little basket that I have. I've discussed this with you guys before. Mask mouth is a no-no. You should always carry mitts or gum or breast strips or something because we're wearing masks all day and you don't want to get mask mouth. These are the ice drops. It says it's compared to the Listerine pocket packs. So I picked one of those up to put in my little bag in my purse. I am a heavy, heavy coffee drinker, and I do like using the white whitening strips, but it gets so expensive. And this is Rembrandt, and that's a name brand, and it says it compares to the 3D no-slip white strips. It says start whitening in one day. It is only two treatments, but usually you can tell if it's going to work by using it by your second treatment. If it works, I'm going to pick some up because the Crest ones I buy at Sam's Club before, it's cost me 40, 50 bucks. So I picked those up to try. Then they had some new face masks and I'm going to put these in our beach bag for the car. I just thought it looked tropical and cute. I think they had a couple of other patterns, but I just didn't pick them up because like I said, I was in a rush looking for that unicorn out in the universe that I didn't find. But it, these are really cute. And let me see, I'll try to show you the print. See how it's like the little palm leaves and stuff. So you get three in here, three for a buck, not too bad. I picked up some of these SE socks. I bought them in black also, and I've already wore the black one. Guys, these are nice. Now, they are a little big. I wear between an eight and a half and nine inch shoes. And these are size four to 10. So if you have narrow feet, they, they'll run up your side here a little bit more. But these are name brand, totally worth a buck. If I find more, I will pick up more. They are very comfortable. So highly recommend these. I already tried the black. Then my girls are on a 90s kick. I remember wearing these with like my Doc Martin Mary Janes in the 90s. All the ruffle socks and the schoolgirl outfits 
total 90s. I did it already. And now my teenage girls are doing it. So to find these socks for a buck was a really good deal because I actually got Rhiannon, the Cat and Jack brand from Target, which is a little kid brand for, um, for Christmas. And I think it was like eight bucks for three pairs. So I picked up two. It was the only ones that they had. So the girls will have to share that. These are in kid sizes seven through two, but they have pretty good stretch to them. Always a repurchase is the pawns. I remember growing up and watching my mom and my grandma put pawns on their face and they always looked a, a lot younger than what they were. And I, I just think that was like something that was burned into my skull that you're supposed to use on your skin. So I use it and now my girls use it and to be able to pick it up for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, such a good deal. Um, beauty stuff, back to the 80s and things. The girls, um, well, Nena has wave to her hair, but Rhiannon has bone straight hair. I used to curl her hair for like the school pictures and come 8.30 by the time they take their pictures, that girl's hair would be flat. But I've noticed that using braids and stuff on her, she will retain a wave now that she's older. But I picked up these, these are just the hair rollers and these are like the little spiral ones. So I thought it would be fun to have a girl's night to try out some different hairstyles with them and show them how to use these. I did pick up a set that was on clearance at Walmart. It was originally $9.99 and I paid $3.49 for it and I only got six of the cloth rollers. So I think this is a good deal for a buck. And I picked up three of them because they have a lot of hair. Um, Let's see, what else, what else? Stationery, okay, I was so excited to pick this notebook up. I love anything to do with moon phases and the galaxy and the sun. I love celestial things. And I only got it for the moon phase stickers. This is a jot journal. And I like it says never stop looking up. I will not probably use the unicorn sticker. I'll probably give that to one of my nieces. But I like all of the different, you know, what is that astrology type thing on it. And it is purple and it is lined. So I picked one of those up because I always have a notebook on hand in my bag. I am a list making person. Um, along with this, a lot of you don't know that I really enjoy writing. I have written several different things in my life that I absolutely love. I believe in journaling. I believe in writing things down for memories. Um, I'm a, like I said, I'm a list person. And when I saw the note organizer on all your guys' lovely channels out there that do have channels, I wanted to pick up three of them because what I want to do is write down each year that I have been alive and do a book for each year the kids have been alive and, you know, put down like, what was popular song, you know, what was in the newspaper, what were they doing in that year, special notes for special occasions. And then I eventually want to take this and wire bound it with something else. But I like the concept of how they have this set up. So crossing my fingers, I could pick up a couple more of these and start working on these projects during the summer because Rhiannon's going to be 18 and I would love to give that to her as an 18th birthday present. Yes, she graduates and turns 18 within a month of each other. So my baby's growing up. Um, I did pick up one book and it's, I just fell in love with the name of it and with what's going on in the world right now with the sickness, I just thought this would be a nice little weekend read. It says Horrors of History, People of the Plague. It's a novel by T. Neil Anderson and I don't know, I just, it was originally $16.95 and it's, it talks about, you know, 1918, what was going on during there, um, the outbreaks that were happening with the flu. And I love that it's just a very nice documentary style book. It gives you a map of where everything was going on. They talk about the death houses, you know, what they went through. And you know, you see pictures of them wearing masks in 1918, like we're wearing masks now. So like they had the sick hall. So that I thought was a very interesting read for a buck. Okay, some wish list items I finally came across. I have been looking for these floating shelves forever. Please keep in mind, they don't hold a lot, but I'm going to be redoing my desk area where I work with my Cricut. I love anything steampunk and, you know, mixed with Victorian. I love like the wheels and the clocks and just the keys. So I have a couple projects in mind for that. If it goes well, I will share with you guys. So I picked up three of them. I needed four, but they only had three in store. So I grabbed those moving right along. If I can get through this video, guys, I promise we're already at 14 minutes. I did pick up one of these high clunch domes. I have a project to do with the girls with this for a special thing for my dad who has passed away. He passed away in 2012, but I would like to make a little memorial type thing with one of his favorite items in this. So I did pick it up. Um, as far as beauty, they did have this buddy or body benefits. I believe this is from Target. 
I don't remember. Anyways, it, it says for him, it's a tough cleaning exfoliating sponge. I exfoliate in the shower. This is not for the hubby. This is for me. So after I shave my legs, I like to give it a nice, you know, sugar scrub to get everything going. And I'm going to use this to do it. So I think, I don't think this is a, I think this is a Target brand. Let me look. Care, do, 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 do. Doesn't say, or I'm not saying it. Anyways, I picked that up. And then, let's see. I got one of these little uh, lone ugly dolls. This was the only one in the store, but my kids thought it was cute. So we picked it up actually for my cat to play with. She plays with stuffed animals. More things for my kitty cat. Moni, she is shedding. I have the worst allergies in the world. I didn't know this girl was going to shed this much. She is a short haired cat, but she is getting rid of all that fluffy winter stuff underneath her coat. So I picked this up with um, hopes. I did pick up another one that's a little bit more hardier at another store, but I figured if because she likes to play. If we put this on, we could try to get some of the, the extra fur off of her. I'll let you guys know if it works. I don't know, and it does have the little microfiber to pick it up. We'll see. Then they have these cute dishes. Look at this. It has the heart and the little fish skeleton and the paw. This is for her water. She likes having water dishes throughout the house, so I thought this would be nice to have on the porch for her. Then some new items. I found these little concrete style pillars um you could do so many different things with these they do come apart so be very careful i was thinking you could do succulents you could do it um actually you know you put glue this together to where it won't move you could put candles in this one you could put dried flowers in them you know the opportunities for doing something with these kind of things is endless so i'm excited to play around with those then they had some of the beehive trinkets I was excited for these little trinket boxes. I don't know if I'm gonna use these for trinket boxes. I was thinking of doing salt and pepper in these, to be honest with you. Um, let's see, it's a green briar, it's, it's a trinket box, but like I said, I may actually coat this on the inside and use it for salt and pepper. And with my Cricut, put little bumblebees on top. So I did pick up one in black and one in white, and I think those are the only colors that they had. Then they have these beautiful oil slick colored bottles. These remind me of the antique bottles like my mom and my grandma would have in their house. And I have an idea for these. You can do so many things with these bottles. They're absolutely beautiful. But I want to put dry flowers in them and have them just like freestanding in there. And I thought that would be pretty. It came in this really pretty yellow, this beautiful purple, and this nice green colored one. I just love how in the light it changes color. I love oil slick type things like that. Then for the porch, the girls wanted to do this little bamboo wind chime. So I don't know how chimey it's gonna be, but we'll give it a try. They had it in a lighter bamboo color as well. Then they had these beautiful dried flowers. These dried flowers, they may not be new. Like I told you, I visited three different Dollar Trees and I've seen things there that I hadn't seen at the other stores. But these are absolutely beautiful. They are just calling them, they're not calling them anything. It's distributed by Greenbrier. But I love how pretty this is. I mean, this can go all the way into fall. And then this set here, they also had a blue and a red, but there's really nothing in my house that would match that. I just got the ones that I know that I could work with. And this one here with the green, absolutely beautiful. So I picked those up. Hopefully I can figure out what to do with them. And then I never get any of the signage or the canvases. My stores just never have it, or I don't find ones that I would actually use. So in my kitchen, I have like the cows and the um, pigs and things like that. But growing up, my dad did have a burrow and we did raise milk goats. And this just reminded me of my dad when I saw it. And just a cute little goat with the little flower crown. And then they have the donkey. Look at the donkey. Oh my goodness. So these are going to be going in my kitchen. I just thought they were super cute. And they make me smile when I see them. So I just grab those. All right, moving along. I know this is a big haul, guys. I am sorry. Then they had the Nouvelle. This is pretty much like, I believe, the Spanish version of Nivea. This is a very nice, thick formula. It is very moisturizing. And it says intensive care. And this is huge bottle for a dollar. So we are always needing lotion in this house. We go through it quite frequently. One last little wish list item, guys. I have been on the hunt for this forever. It's just the gnome flag. I bought two of them to have one for the inside of the house and one for the outside. And it just says keep life simple. And like I told you guys before, if you haven't followed me, I love the red truck. I love gnomes and I love bees. 
Um, one day, if they put all three of them together, I would be super happy. <laughs> and I love sunflowers too, so it would be cute if I can get that. But this is cute. I'm glad that I finally came across it. Some of the things I just give up even looking for, but if I find it in the store when I'm like not looking, it's like a bonus because you finally found it. Um, I did pick up this Glade Bamboo in Bliss for the girls' restroom. It just smells really good, and we were almost out in there. Finally found some of these Scrub It um, sponges. Now, I love these kind of sponges. They're not abrasive. They work really well, and it has a nice microfiber side. It's a two-pack. That's totally worth a buck. I did get some of this Pine Sol multi-surface cleaner. This is going to be for the floors. This is always going to forever be a repurchase, guys. I highly recommend this cleaner. Don't pass it up just because it's at the Dollar Tree. I use this as a pre-wash for my laundry. If your kids come or your hubby even works on the car and gets oil stains, it takes oil stains out. It takes pen out of your clothes. I mean, it takes blood out. You guys, it cleans everything. I use it in every room of the house pretty much when I clean. And like I told you, I use it as a pretty much spray and wash for the clothes and it comes clean and it really cleans sneakers really up like good too. So highly, highly recommend it. I am doing dishes by hand right now. My dishwasher took a poof. It's gone. It's, it's history. So I am waiting on a new dishwasher right now. I'm trying to figure out what kind I want to get. So you guys have any recommendations for dishwashers? Let me know because I haven't had to buy one in a very long time. But I did get these for our hydro flasks and all of our, you know, tumblers that we all like to use. So eh, for a buck, it'll probably last maybe a week or two and I'll just get a new one. Oops, I bumped you going to be cleaning up uh the porch so i needed some black bags because like i told you guys it is springtime let's get this cleaning going decluttering and you know feeling good about your environment i have a couple wreaths i want to hang up and some summer decor and i just got these removable hooks to do so this is a three pack it says it holds two pounds i'm thinking my wreath doesn't weigh more than two pounds and i've never seen this before let me know guys if they've had it but i knew they had like the fabric was it the fab yeah, the fabric softener and the laundry soap. I'm not sure, but it was in a bottle. This is a 10 pack of the little laundry pads. So I picked up two of those to try and you get 10 of them in there. So we'll see how that works. And then, oh my gosh, I was looking for these hats. I am on a hat kick. If you guys watched my Walmart clearance haul, I'll put it in an iCard up in the above in the sky for you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a drink of my coffee. I did go to Starbucks. Anyways, I am on a hat kick. I picked one up at Walmart. Absolutely love it. I think these hats go so well with so many summer outfits, like with a long summer maxi dress, you know, the cute tank top ones. Just nice to have a hat. You can take these little things off if you want to. I like them on there. So I did pick it up in this really pretty dark camel color. Black with the black little ribbon on it. And the girls wanted the light colored one. Let me see if I could pull it apart for you guys. And they picked up the white one. I know everybody had hauled these already, guys. But like I told you, my Dollar Tree, locally, it's hard for them to get things out. And I was very lucky that these were even left in the other Dollar Trees in different towns that I went through. Because I believe that everybody would have got them for Easter. Okay, food stuff. I don't sleep on the food stuff at the Dollar Tree. I actually look for a lot of things. Um, for those of you that don't know, they, I, not all of them, boy, am I tongue tied. Not all of the Dollar Trees have a freezer section. I know my local ones do not have them. But I came across ones that had them and they had the mango chunks and my kids love making mango nadas in the summer. So I picked up three of these and then they had the Sun Ripe um, Tropical Blend and I picked up three. I picked three of each of all the fruits up. And this is by Jennifer's Garden. Jennifer Garden is the one that makes the spring rolls, which I did pick those up too. And then they have the TJ Farm Mixed Berries. And the Mixed Berries are 10 ounces. They're all 10 ounce bags. But if your family enjoys smoothies, like I can get the big bag of Mixed Berries at the grocery store, probably cheaper. But all my kids and family members like different fruits in their smoothies. So it's just easier for me to pick them up like this. Like this is a berry banana blend. And then I did get peas and carrots because I'm going to attempt to make fried rice because I've already gotten down on how to make chow mein. So I'm moving on to fried rice now. And for a 14 ounce bag, I figured that would be cool. 
always, always a repurchase. I bought six of the spring rolls, guys. I love, love the spring rolls. Highly recommend them. Put them in the air fryer. They make such a nice addition to um, an Asian style dinner or even just a snack or a lunch. I will pop three of these in the air fryer and that's what I have for lunch. And then they had a bunch of this. I love the leaping leopard. I said lizard last time. It's leaping leopard. Um, sweet chili sauce, guys, paired with these two. That is just heaven. I'm telling you, so bomb. I wish I would have picked up one more, but like I said, I didn't want to get too carried away. Premier Protein Shakes. To get it for a dollar is a super good deal. These are expensive. These were the last two of the store. I would have picked up a case. I kid you not. This is the peach. I love the peach. You get 30 grams of protein. For those of you that are new, I drink a protein shake every single day. And my youngest daughter is getting on that kick with me. And they are good until May 26th. So good deal for those. Another thing that I usually don't pick up but i tried them and they were good and this is the pampas sweet gherkin pickles we like these in deviled eggs and in chicken salad and tuna salad so i picked those up for the family um then they had these dumb or what i thought they were dumb dumbs these are charms mini pops the tropical mix you get 35 suckers in there that's like my kids is like choice go-to candy is suckers my kids love suckers so i just put those in a big jar and they go for it Always, always a repurchase is the pinto beans and the long grain rice. 32 ounces of long grain rice for a buck. That's a super good deal. So I just got those to refill my pantry. Um, we've been making, like I said before, a lot of horchata lately, so that is perfect. Then they had name brand cereal, guys. They had the sugar crisp or sugar cookie toast crunch limited edition. And this one is good until September 22nd. This one has the best expiration date out of all the cereal that I found. And it is a 12 ounce box for a dollar. Then they had the, oh, let me pull it forward here. The rice checks. We love using this with some dried cherries, um, some cashews and the checks mix. And we put it on top of our yogurts and it's just so good. I'm telling you. And this is a bigger box. This box, no, it looks bigger. It's a 12 ounce box too. And then they did have a family size Lucky Charms because the boys in my life, even the hubby, love cereal with marshmallows in it. And it's a Fruity Lucky Charms, and this one is a one pound, 5.2 ounce size box. So that's a big box of cereal. And this one is July 6th of 2021. And the Rice Checks is July 31st of 2021. So that, I think, is my, ho oh no, I have the teas. I was excited about the teas. Here, let me share the teas I found with you. These are Herbal Helpers. It says it contains natural antioxidants. This is an immunity boost, and let's see, you get 20 tea bags in here. Let's see, what is it? Uh, it has coriander, ginger, and cinnamon, and clove in this one for the immunity booster. And then they have it in a brain boost. Again, you get 20 tea bags. Let's see what's in this one. This one has Gotu Cola, Lu, what, Lunu Willa, I hope I said that right, green tea, Oh goodness, I'm just gonna let you read that because I don't think I'm gonna say that right at all. <laughs> then they have an energy boost. And this one has, ooh, I can say licorice and cinnamon on that one. Look at the first one. Okay, guys, let me know what that is. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. All right, and then they have the relaxation. And this one has lavender, chamomile, lemongrass, and orange. That's one I can say, I think I'll probably stick to this one but those are the new teas that i came across i've never seen them at the dollar tree before so i don't know if they're, if they're new or not they're new to me so this was my massive dollar tree haul in the search for the golden cricket items and didn't find any of them but i'm not going to complain i did find some really cool things that i'm excited to get out and use so if you guys like these kind of videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos let me catch my breath y'all and guys, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.